OK, so on this next one, uh, what I'm asking you to do is to graph, identify the domain, the range, the asymptotes, and the transformation. So when, doing, when graphing logarithmic functions, I think the main important thing is to at least know what the parent graph looks like. The parent graph has an x-intercept at 1, has a vertical asymptote at 0, and looks something like this. OK? Um, so now we just need to apply the transformations. So this 2 is going to be our vertical stretch. That is going to be vertically stretching our graph. We're going to have the minus 3, which is going to be shifting our graph three units to the right. So here's my x-intercept. I can move my x-intercept three units to the right, one, two, three. And then this 1 is going to be up one unit. right? And then the 2, remember, is vertically stretching your graph. So it's going to look maybe something like that. I originally have an asymptote at x equals 0. So if I'm shifting my graph three units to the right, that means my asymptote is going to be shifting three units to the right. Now, by looking at the graph, this blue graph, I can identify what is my domain, my range, and so forth. So my domain is going to be from 3. It's at an asymptote, so it's not going to contain it. So 3 to infinity. My range, you can see that the graph is going down to infinity, and it's going to continue increasing, so it's going to go up to infinity. That's going to be at negative infinity to infinity. My vertical asymptote for the parent graph was at 0, and that got shifted over 3. So that is a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. And the transformations, I forgot to do that. So ver transformations is a vertical stretch factor of 3. We're going to do shift 3 units right, 1 unit, or shift 3 units right, 1 unit up. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph logarithmic uh, functions with transformations. Thanks.